This video is the first in a mini-series um, that talks you through how to create a mini tank game. Uh, so the end product of this series is that you're going to have a little tank that you can um, control with your arrow keys. Uh, you can aim, um, you can sort of aim up and down. Um, and as you drive around you should be able to see some little targets that will appear. Um, and then if you shoot them um, then your score goes up. So it's a simple little game, you've got a timer, you've got kind of 60 seconds. Um, if your time runs out, um, then that's it, it's game over, the game stops. Um, and every, um, every time you hit one of these targets, you get 10 extra seconds. So it's just a little um, fun game starting point. Graphics aren't amazing, but it's just enough to show you how to start creating your own games in Blender. So in this first video, we're going to show you how to create a little tank like this. Um, nothing spectacular, but just um, a little blocky tank with some um, camouflage graphics. The next videos, I'm going to show you how you can make it move around on a um, uh, on a terrain, and then the final video is how to make it so that you can shoot um, and um, just put the game logic in so that you've got a score that goes up um, and a timer that counts down, everything like that. So if we start from a blank Blender file, this one just here, and um, we're going to turn this cube into the base of our tank. Um, so. Um, this, um, as I move my mouse or press any keys, you should be able to see them appearing on the screen. The most important thing is your mouse wheel in between the two buttons. If you push your mouse wheel in, you can look around, or scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or hold down shift um, and push your mouse wheel in to be able to look around like this. Okay, um, so let's go into edit mode by pressing tab, it's the button to the left of your Q arrow, and that switches between edit mode and object mode. So in edit mode we can change the shape, and we want to change this into the bottom of our tank. So I'm going to press S for scale, and I'm going to squidge it down vertically, so that's the Z axis, so I've just pressed Z so I can scale it in this direction. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner in the red direction, which is X, so I'm going to press S and X and squidge it down that way. Um, and I want it to be a little bit thinner at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to just um, select this bottom face. So Control and Tab will let you select face mode. And right click just here. If I scale this now with S, I just want to scale it in the green direction, which is Y. Um, so this is going to be the base of our tank. Um, and I'll, select, I'll press A a couple of times. A toggles all or nothing. So with everything orange, we can now press S and Z, and I'll squidge it down. There we go, that's going to be the base of our tank that we'll drive around. Um, and uh, we're also going to put some, some wheels on the tank. So if you left click, you can move the 3D cursor, which is this thing that looks a little bit like a life raft. If we, um, if we left click to put it where we want one of the wheels to be, um, we're going to have some um, tracks that go um, along the bottom of the tank like this. So shift and A, start with a cylinder. The cylinder's too big and it's in the wrong place, so let's scale it down with S. And I'm going to rotate it around the green um, axis, which is Y. So R, Y, and then 9, 0, enter to rotate by 90 degrees. Scale it down a little bit. Um, and I want it to be level with um, one side of the tank. So I'm going to do this in quad view. That's Control, Alt, and Q. It's just easier to be able to put it exactly where I want it. Um, there we go. So it should be just kind of overlapping a little bit from the edge, um, quite high up from the side. There we go. So we've got one um, wheel. Um, I'm going to duplicate that now with Shift and D. Um, and in fact, I'm going to move it still in quad view so that when we grab it with G, we can um, uh, get it perfectly lined up. So Shift D to duplicate and then we're going to get lots of copies of these wheels as we go along. Like so. So shift D each time um, and that'll do control up and Q. Good, so I've got kind of the wheels for the tracks for one side. I'm not going to bother in this video tutorial drawing the tracks, the actual caterpillar tracks between these wheels just because it'll take too long. It's easy enough to do um, but I'm not going to show you in this video because um, time is limited. Alright, we want to select all of these wheels so I'm going to use circle select for that, that's C, and then you can drag your selection until you get a little bit of each wheel, and then press escape to get out circle select, control L to select all the linked faces, and now back in quad view, if we press shift and D to duplicate, I want a copy um, lined up with um, 
the other side of the tank. There we go. So out of quad view. Um, yeah, that's not quite lined up, is it? Uh, let's have a look. G for grab and move them until they look about right. There we go. Okay, so we've got the wheels for the tank. Um, next, let's um, add a little camouflage texture. So I've just searched on Google Images for um, a camouflage image. And if we change the mode to UV editing, um, I'm going to open up um, the image. Uh, I've just called mine camo.jpg. Okay, so I want to select all of these faces. So I'm pressing A until they all go um, orange. They're selected. Uh, it's the image that we just opened. Um, put your mouse over your um, your object and press U for unwrap. And I'm going to just um, go for Smart UV Project. And that should fit all of these faces um, onto this 2D image. So if we go back to um, default mode and change it now to material, um, we should, well let's try it on texture, yeah there we go, um, you should see the camouflage on your tank. Alright, so that's the base um, sorted, we're going to draw um, the bit that swivels round um, as, a as a separate object and then we're going to draw um, the gun bit as a separate object again because they all need to be able to move separately from each other. So, um, I'm out of ob um, edit mode now, back in object mode by pressing tab. Shift and A, let's add a, cu a cube. And I'm going to go back into quad view and just move it so the cube is above your tank. Um, scale it down with S. Um, and I'm wanting it to be a little bit um, shorter vertically, so S and Z. Until there we go, that'll do. Um, and I want it to be um, in the direction it's driving, it should be a little bit longer. So, green arrow is Y, so S and Y. Let's stretch it out in that direction. Maybe a little bit bigger for me in the X direction, S and X. There we go. Control Alt Q. So, that's going to be um, the top of my tank. Um, I'm going to select the, the front bit. So control tab to go into face mode and just right click to get the, fa um, the front bit. You press E to extrude, pull it out a little bit and then scale it down. Um, then that's all the shape I'm going to need for, for the top. Um, in fact I might extrude the back a little bit um, and scale it. There we go. Um, so again we're going to apply the same texture to this. So um, in edit mode let's select everything by pressing A go into uh, UV editing and with your mouse over the, the object U and smart UV project um, and we might have to make sure that the image um, is selected there we go let's go back to default and we can see a camouflage on there so we need a separate um, object now for the gun as it sticks out so let's go out of edit mode by pressing tab, shift A, I'm going to go for a cube, you might want a cylinder, I'm going to keep it really simple. Um, and you want the centre of the cube to kind of be in the middle of the, um, the top bit of the tank. So it should be fairly small, um, just, um, so my front bit is the bit that sticks out a little bit more, you want it to be in the middle of that front bit just in there. Okay. Um, next I'm going to change into wireframe mode so that we can see um, through the tank and I want um, the front face of this selected. Now my um, gun isn't in the middle so I'm going to move it across. G and there we go. And I'm going to right click to select. I just want the front face. So um, I need to be in edit mode right click to select the front face there we go and then I'm going to grab that out so G and Y I'm going to pull that out in that direction and that should be sorted okay so uh, I'm in solid um, display mode if I change that to material oops sorry if I change it to texture we should be able to see the different textures um, and again we need the camouflage on the gun so let's go back into UV editing 
select all the faces for the gun and you smart UV project make sure we get the right image um, and that should do it okay um, so in this video we've made a little tank um, in the next video we'll work out how to put the game logic on um, notice that we've done um, three separate objects so that we should be able to move around the base and as we move around the base these two bits need to move with them um, but we should be able to move um, the gun separately um, so that if we rotate it um, it should be able to move separately and this should be able to uh, rotate around the X axis to move up and down like this. But as you move the base, the other two should be connected to it. So let's right click on the, um, the top of the tank, hold down shift, right click on the bottom and we'll go control P to set the parent. That means now when you just right click to select the bottom bit, you should be able to get both bits together. And now let's do the same for, uh, for the gun. So select the gun first, shift right click on the top. Control P. Um, so hopefully now if we select the base we can move the whole thing. If we select the, the top of the tank we can rotate um, the gun and if we get the gun bit um, we should just be able to move that on its own. So that's the end of this first video. In the next video um, I'll show you how to make it so that you can um, move your tank around by pressing different keys um, and in the third video we'll make it so that you can shoot um, and destroy some little targets um, that will appear up on your screen. Thanks for watching. If you can think of a better way of doing this, um, or if you found it useful, please do leave a comment. Thanks very much.